Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy C's back at y'all with another episode of Motherland's Realist. Uh, of course, I got my special guest, James Four Five Seven. What's up, YouTube? What's going on? <laughs> and um, the thing is, you know, I want to go ahead and get back to y'all warriors because I know y'all pretty much was like, man, when is he gonna got dog continue? You know, the videos for the warriors out here, and I'm gonna make sure. I let you warriors know about more about this art of capoeira. Uh, one thing I want to say is this here. A lot of people got this misconception that capoeira is just a, a kick-based martial art. In reality, capoeira is not just based on kicks. As I said on, I think it was my striking video when I was doing the boxing thing. You can add any kind of martial art or fighting style within the capoeira uh style itself you know they do what they call cabasa which i uh did on my last video when i did a little combating uh sequence with my cousin here where i did the head butts and also um they got uh well i'm gonna show y'all on this particular video where you could cuff your hands and use your hands just uh you know what I'm saying? Bust the eardrums, uh, punch in the nose, or uh, eye gouging. You know, in, in tournaments, you cannot do those type of things. That's why capoeira needs to just stickily be a street style. You can't, it's certain things that in tournaments you can't do, unless if it's a tournament where anything goes. But most tournaments, I know it's about a point system. So uh, you, you say you had something to say, cuz? Yeah, yeah, I had something to say, like, uh, the people out here do this cap weather and stuff. So what kind of, like, so, you know, they, they they do this move and stuff, and then they're like, it's not right, and they feel like they failure on the move and the stuff is not right. And so what kind of, what kind of you were giving them encouragement for that, you know, what about that cap weather? Okay, uh... Just like anything in life, you know, let's say if you're looking at my video and it's like a certain kick that you just can't quite get, you know, um, leave it down in the comments and let me know, y'all, you know, if it's anything that seems kind of difficult or hard, you know, um, I try to explain everything in these videos as clear or to my knowledge, the best I could explain it. Because like I always said, go to my capoeira condition videos first. Don't just jump into this style and just be like, all right, I'm going to just learn this kick or two. And, you know what I'm saying? And then you mess up and then you're not quite, you know, throwing the technique properly. Because, you know, you do want to have proper technique when you do these moves. You don't want to just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can look at something all day long, but just like they say man practice makes perfect you just gotta practice you know the more you practice the better you're gonna get just like me i mean in order for me to get good at capoeira i had to practice and wh where i'm at you know uh they don't even have no capoeira schools here you know i pretty much like i said on my previous video got a martial art background i pretty much know exactly you know what to do with the style you know like i just you know pretty much just got that experience so from having a martial art background and then looking into let's say uh um, some of the capoeira books like they got a book um from um mr nestor it's called nestor's uh capoeira book it's, it's actually called a little capoeira book which is basically uh look up the um uh author um his name is Nestor look on Amazon uh any kind of cap oil books or whatever you can look this stuff up or not even just that youtube anything you know knowledge is all here so i mean you know it's just pretty much man only thing i can say in a short answer just practice practice you gotta practice you know and not just that uh make sure your diet is better too 
don't be going out here eating all these pizzas and cheeseburgers and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff and thinking like you're going to improve and get better. Nah, you got to got dog get some of that fruits, vegetables and all that kind of stuff in your system, too. I mean, I know a lot of y'all probably like, I don't know, man, I can't go cold turkey like that. I understand that. But don't indulge in that kind of stuff. Try to eat right. You know, and the, the, the more uh, right you eat, the better you're going to be. Uh, you have anything else you want to say, cuz? Yeah, um, like what he said, you know, uh, yeah, you gotta eat right. Um, man, pay attention to your diet. I mean, really, man, you know, just go for your goals on your diet. If you want to, you know, it's up to you. That's you right. Know, if you want to do it, um, like I, like he said, you know, exercise your body. You know what I'm saying? Get time. Don't do it uh, a lot. You know what I'm saying? For your body can shut down that easy that's right so you know time to let your body heal and then do one for then uh today if you do one today and do one for next day and you know just keep on doing this do like a routine like how you do at work you know what i'm saying motivate yourself that's right and another thing um i'm gonna show you guys um a couple of examples of what you could do like as far as striking with capoeira all right, here we go. All right, YouTube, I'm back. Um, on this next part, I'm going to show you guys exactly what you do with striking in Capoeira. Once again, this is not for tournaments. It's just strictly, um, hey, this is for the streets. I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. All right, here we go. I'm going to show you a couple examples. All right, let's say guy you know guys hands up you know you're getting ready to throw a couple of them things at you know what i'm saying throw that little jab and that cross what you can do is as far as striking all right you don't necessarily have to be in a jenga and just like do some video game nah that's not caparella man this real life you know what i'm saying it's ain't yeah the gordo you feel me <laughs> this real life all right so let's say this guy, you getting ready to jab, my cousin jab, right? You know, you come here, you could, you know, come in with a strike. Or if the jab coming, throw the jab again, cuz. Oh, that's a cross, cross, jab, 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 oh. and straight. Oh, okay. yeah, okay. Jab, bam, right here you can punch, you can come across with the elbow shot. So, or you could do this, throw again, jab, well, cross, cover up, get underneath the arms here. Now, that's when it's gonna come down to takedowns, when you start getting into more of the wrestling elements. Because as soon as you hear, you know, just like on my other video, when I headbutt to the stomach, and then you slide the head up, you can headbutt them, boom, just like so. You know, that's when you get in more in your wrestling element. You know what I'm saying? Or you could do this. Um, kind of like throw some cubs right here. <clears throat> right there. You see that? Cuff hands. You cuff the hands. You bust the eardrums. Done. I don't advise that to nobody that's out here, you know, doing illegal stuff or whatever so don't even uh this definitely ain't for kids um i want nobody to be kind of me telling me that you know i taught their child or whoever you know bust their eardrums or whatever so this ain't for y'all and i don't really advise this to nobody unless if it's a real necessary situation which is let's say <laughs> i'm getting just hit today and hey it's time to go, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is, you know? So in other words, um, what you wanna do, like I said, when a person throw a punch, cover up your face here. You cover up here, you could come here. As soon as you come here, you could step in with that elbow shot, boom. Or if it's coming here, get out the way you grab the back of the head here and you're hitting right here at the temple. So, or, or right here at the jaw. 
these are your target areas right here or right there right at the temple now you hear the jaw the jaw gonna be the straight knock at here in the temple person you know um that's why they even say in boston like you don't want to do that so uh, just be aware of what you're doing before you do things and another thing they actually got in capoeira where you strike at the nose or poke at the eyes eye poke so if i'm here i can whoop, ah, my eyes my eyes you know or bust them right there in the nose you know and, and there's other things you could do right here palm strikes so if you hear all right throw some good right there see that see that right there straight good palm strike just, just come up on there just like that so that's what you want to do you want to kind of feel your person out man you know what i'm saying just like i said on my last video when you feel a map you'll know what to do you know what i'm saying you just gotta practice see me i got some experience in this art so you know it's natural to me just like me putting on my pants it ain't nothing you know so let's say for example all right because just throw anything random like that i would have came in right there oh all right Come in here, come here, and then you can do a vignettiva. I'm gonna explain that on the takedown on another video. That That's what they call vignettiva. All right, which is basically, if you're here, come here, put the leg over and you basically push the person over. Um, Y'all, I think I did on my other video, if I'm not mistaken. But I kind of put my hand behind my cousin so he don't fall. So I'm just giving y'all an idea of some examples of what you can do. So like move around, see where that center line at? Go cuz, anything. Right there. Bam. Come across that neck, you can close on them. Alright, here we go. You know, you can even get into moves like this, where you grab the arm, boom, you can kneel. Then you can send them on their way. But anyway, y'all, um, I think I ran enough on this video. <laughs> um, like I said, um, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, Motherland's Realist, and also, um, Show my cousin some love. Yeah. James 457. Yeah, check me out. Check yeah. me out. Check, check me his out. YouTube channel out. And check my daughter out uh, too. And my daughter Genesis, uh, <laughs> Nala Williams. If you got kids and stuff, man, check them out, man. For real. Show your boy some show my daughter some love. Show yeah. her some love and too. It's her first YouTube, so you know, she's been doing pretty good, so you know. So uh, yeah, I'm, we it, you you seeing a lot of fam. My cuz I put my cuz on now. I put my daughter on. Yes, hey, sir. I don't know who next in the fam. So whoever <laughs> next, so you know. <laughs> yeah, so check them out. Yeah, yeah. Show my cuz some love, y'all. Yeah. You know, and uh, like I said, um, I don't want to um, do too much of the grappling stuff and the takedowns, but I'm gonna show y'all a couple of takedowns. And as soon as I got dog do that, um, I'm going um, to have a matter course and, you know, uh, I'm going to get into all the takedowns and Capoeira. All right, y'all. Um, to the warriors out there, keep practicing. And I'll see y'all on the next episode of Motherland's Realist. All right. Peace. Peace.